7 Squadron had been put onto its COS, island of COS, which was about 200 yards from the Turkish coast. It was the only, only island that was not in the hands of the Germans. And not very far from COS was Rhodes Island, where the main German Air Force was. So that 7 Squadron didn't have a hope. The, the Germans just bombed their, air, their air, airstrip at COS out of existence, so they couldn't get their spits off anywhere. And in the end, they, they, they landed and, uh, and everybody had to run for their lives. So uh, we, we were sent down to, to reinforce them. And um, um, two of us, uh, Montanari and I, were given the job of flying from, from uh, Cyprus, where we were based then, to fly and show the flag across roads and into Kos, over Kos and then to rush into Turkey as fast as we could and, uh, and then turn and come back home. It was a nerve-wracking rack, racking flight because of the, it's, it was a three-hour flight there and back over the sea all the time. And, uh, and we flew there at very low altitude, right as near to the water as we could in order to avoid any radar from the Germans. And uh, the first time, of course, they had no idea that we were coming. So we were able to go across and let's fire a few shots off uh, at, at the aircraft on the ground. But after that, they were waiting for us. And uh, uh, funnily enough, they never came down again. They didn't come down and, um, and mix it with us. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, uh, but we had long range tanks, 90 gallon long range tanks on our, in order to fly. A Spitfire would never fly for three hours. And uh, we had this long, big tank on there. So when we got near Rose, we would drop the tank into the water, and uh, then we were free to, you know, to manoeuvre. So uh, we, did, we did this for a while, until somebody saw the light and decided it was madness. And, uh, and we, we, we finally finished off doing yeah. shipping patrols from, from sewers so, on port side. But it was, uh, it was probably the worst operational thing that we had to do during the war. Because if, if your engine failed uh, at any time on that trip, you, you were dead. And uh, nothing could do, because the Spitfire would never, would never uh, cope in the water. And, and, uh, and we were so low that we wouldn't have had time to, to jump out or do anything. So that uh, was a bad, a bad kind of decision that they made.